I was a subscriber to Business Week and RKS was on the cover of Business Week that month. Let's go call them up and, and pay them a visit. Of all the plastics that you've tested, you know, we got to cross-pollinate and create something that ended up on the cover of Business Week and ended up in the hands of just incredible musicians. Designers are really puzzle makers. They love challenges and the chance to put pieces together. So what they absolutely love to do is to take a piece from medical, take a piece from entertainment, put it in a car door and make something new. And what's fascinating is Eastman appears to have understood this power and giving a chance to designers to do this. One of the benefits for a design firm like RKS is when we're working on products for the bathroom, for the kitchen, for the operating room, sports products, consumer electronics products, just a whirlwind of diversity. You mix that up with Eastman who comes in with plastics and you're able to say, well, if we can apply this here, now we can move this over there, and you get to cross-pollinate in ways that you had never envisioned. It's very much like an artist who works in a multitude of mediums, and all of a sudden you bring to them a new medium, and it's designed for, for painting, and next thing you know, you know, they've got a palette knife, and they're making the painting three-dimensional. And you know, one of the things we don't do as designers enough is just to really enjoy and relish in those moments where we get to cross-pollinate. We get to say, you know, take this from over here, and hey, nobody ever thought about using it here. You know, the guitar, perfect example. Whoever thought that we could, we could create such rich sound. Use the plastic over here. It's based on, on a pulverized wood. In fact, it truly shouldn't sound like wood. But when you mold it and you configure it, we have the resonance and the tonality of wood. I looked at everything from liquor bottles, I looked at uh, cologne bottles. There's this commonality of bottle design, this idea that we're going to appeal to a consumer's emotion. We can go from the guitar, which, was, which has very strong parallels to the core water bottle, because the passion of the guitar taught us uh, things that we had never seen before. Dealing with something that is, is so profoundly refined and technical and, and tactile. And working with Dave Mason of the band Traffic and then who recorded with you know, George Harrison and Eric Clapton and Fleetwood Mac, working with that level of musician taught us things that when you meet someone like, like Eric from CORE, that that same level of passion that they walked in with was, was there, you could see it, you could hear it. And so when we began thinking about a reusable bottle, the idea was to create something iconic, something that is more than just holding water and, and gets the job done, something that could actually be a, um, a design piece, something that you could talk about, something that the consumer could feel really great about. So some people uh, say that when they look at the RKS guitar or the core water bottle, there's something extra in it. What we found is that by following the hero's journey, that we can lengthen the journey in such a rich, compelling way that people are at a higher level of engagement. So we just keep piquing your curiosity, keep challenging you, and keep engaging you. And what we do is amplify the critical touch points that are important to consumers.